promotional consideration paid for by the following. What's up, Cheap Shot Nation and movie fans? This is review number 272. We're well on the way to 300, and that is amazing. Now, this movie, Immaculate, as you can see on your screen, if you're watching on YouTube, please do subscribe. Or, you know, if you're listening on the podcasting channels, Talk is Cheap, you can hear me say, this movie is immaculate. It's certainly not immaculate, but it does have a very good premise, uh, a, a twist on what would be coming, what will be coming out next week, which is The Omen, about the immaculate conception of Christ. Um, the Lord and Saviour, if you be, if you believe in that kind of thing, and it's directed by Michael Mohan and stars Sydney Sweeney. Now I've heard Sydney Sweeney's name quite a bit. I've never seen her in anything, but based on this, I think she's going to go very far. Not only is she a very beautiful woman, she is also a very good actress, and uh, she has a good supporting cast alongside her throughout this creepy, atmospheric non-sploitation movie and without giving away any sort of plot points um i'm going to go through what i think of this film i, mean, I think you could probably tell that i'm i appreciate this film um we've had some quite nasty horror films coming out uh over the last couple of months and when i say nasty i just mean really bad and although this is not picture perfect like the setting of the nunnery that um, sister cecilia is called to almost headhunted for um for this movie in the um you know in the beautiful picture perfect italian countryside where she uh, joins an italian uh, monastery nunnery whatever you want to call it and uh you know she she's there to look after sick elderly nuns and she's basically there as a nurse so people keep putting her off there's scenes that you know are real life almost you know if you're a nurse you have to do certain things that uh, you perhaps wouldn't do in a normal job but she's uh you know she's devout for her faith um sister cecilia you know she she does the confessions with the um cardinal and all that kind of stuff um and she's welcomed into this monastery and uh or a convent rather and uh because that's monastery is a completely different thing she's welcomed into the convent almost like they uh you know they sort of handpicked her for something and you can't quite put your finger on it until the end or you know until the the movie continues when uh, there's certain things that happen and it's really creepy you know it starts off like say picture picturesque it's nice and bright uh, and then it sort of goes a bit darker gets candle lit there's catacombs um there's the secret files there's all sorts of things going off here and because it's an 18 they can get away with things as well and they don't shy away from the gore which is one of the things i really appreciated about this movie it's got good practical effects and that bit is absolutely great and this this convent harbors a dark secret 
Uh, and like I say, it's based on the Immaculate Conception of Christ, the idea that a baby could be conceived without having sex, basically. And um, the fact that she would be a virgin, uh, virgin mother. And it's like the second coming. It's treated like the second coming, as, as you would if you, again, if you believed in those kind of things. Ensemble cast are also very good uh, in this film. Alvaro Morte plays Father Sal Tedeschi, uh, who is brilliant. Simeona Tabasco plays Sister Mary, who is like um, Sister Cecilia's sort of nun friend. Uh, Bernadetta or Benedetta uh, Porta Caroli plays Sister Gwen. And again, she is the nun friend and um, she is like the bad bad girl uh, of the movie sort of the devil on your shoulder if you like um and then there's lots of other things lots of other people in there uh who have all got you know full-on italian name like dora romano <laughs> plays the mother superior and obviously she's like yes i can't wait for this to happen but she does it in italian and obviously there's that language barrier as well and all the time you're taken in by this beautiful scenery uh, and the beautiful Italian language and the story that's that's there in and it's not a very long film either which is um which is great so I mean yeah I fully appreciated this film for uh what it was and that is a decent horror movie it has elements of uh the omen but it's done with the, the obviously the bait the second coming of christ rather than the uh the spawn of the devil um it um you know it involves nuns obviously the omen doesn't you wouldn't be able to um for certain reasons and uh yeah it's just really good and having seen imaginary <laughs> uh not long before this i just i was aching for some good clean horror and this gave me that i say clean it's not clean it's gory it's disgusting actually um that uh, this is so damn good <laughs> i love it um and it seems like it's been a long project um you know the the, the virgin birth the the fact that she um is bought in so they've sort of hand-picked her for this and and it's it's split in opinion that <laughs> when the film finished i heard someone actually say out loud that's the shittiest movie that i sorry for this language um you know i'd like to say i'd be demonetized but i don't get paid by youtube anyway uh, that is the shittiest film i've ever seen it's definitely not <laughs> it was really good and that's what i mean it splits opinion um and the the ending is but it will make you like squirm in your seat and that is exactly the kind of thing that you want in a horror movie um which you know um just reading a review here so it lacked depth it didn't the character development was really good you knew exactly who was who and what people were doing and the way they looked at certain things the way they carried themselves it was done you know on you know in the background sort of thing you know it was done by the way that they acted that you knew these people were either on the good side or the bad side so to speak and uh, it's a it's a good exploration of you know the human body uh, especially the female body um because you know it, it just has that under that that story in the background as to where as to the way that you know women are treated when it comes to birth and and kids and stuff like that it's just you know certain cultures don't care do they but um which is disgusting but yes i love it grisly images um strong language the the, the, the like i already said the uh, practical effects are actually brilliant and um yeah it was exactly what i needed and it's like the conflict between her public persona and what people 
say she is or what they want her to be uh, sister cecilia and it's it's detrimental um to this movie um it it's like rosemary's baby it's suspiria like i say it's omen there's a lot of stuff here um to unpack and it's really good and like i say sister um cecilia played by sydney sweeney is you know, brilliant um so yes if you're a horror fan i would definitely recommend going to see this film it's probably the one of the best uh, horror films i've seen for quite a while and to say that um he uh, the the director mohan uh, directed house of wax uh, and the uh, the shallows um, which you know i liked house of wax uh, you know people people poop on that film because it's got a certain you know hollywood celebrity in it that no one actually wanted but uh, yeah i like that film it's well directed so yes this is brilliant and um it's well worth a watch and i'd recommend it absolutely it pushes back the patriarchy uh you know for the my body my choice uh situation it's uh like i say it's scary it's bloody it's funny and it's brilliant i love it um so yeah more from mohan definitely more from Mohan. Uh, so yes, um, I definitely recommend this one. And uh, I'm going to see The Omen, <laughs> episode two, uh, religious-based films straight after each other uh, next week. So check back in for that. And uh, I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Hope you've had a great Easter holiday. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.